Hey guys, so I've had quite a few uh, questions from you guys on email and quite a few comments on the YouTube channel that are all along a similar line. They're all along the lines of what to do when you feel your progress feels slow, you're not progressing as fast or you don't have the same drive that you did at one point or you remember having with your guitar journey. There's one particular email here from a girl called Victoria um, who says, I'm so glad that I found your channel. My problem is that I've been taking lessons for a year now, privately and through your YouTube lessons. Um, since Christmas, I feel like I haven't done much this year. I know many chords and I'm learning the power chord boxes, but I still feel it, it's really hard and painful for my fingers. And I just don't feel that I can get the chords sounding right. And I always seem to mess up somehow and I get so disappointed. And she ends it with, I'm tired of giving up and I'm tired of failing. I'm so sorry that you feel like that, but I will have to say, we all feel like that at some point. Progress on guitar never is a smooth journey. I think progress with anything is never, never goes consistently up in the nice direction we want it to. There's always these little jumps up and then it flattens off and we maybe feel like we've gone backwards but keep doing the right things and it always goes in the right direction it just doesn't always feel that way and we need things to sort of get us through those harder times right um the one thing i want to say which is the same for absolute beginners and the professionals and myself no guitarist is ever exactly where they feel they should be i think every guitarist feels they could be better, they could do things better, that are things that they're not progressing with fast enough um, because the progression happens on so many little things all the time when you're doing the right things, um, it's kind of hard to keep track of that and I've talked about practice routines and getting a repertoire of song and having goals to lead up to but I wanted to give a different answer in this lesson and um, a more core reason which boils down to why do you want to play guitar? Why is it that you're doing? What, what is it about this block of wood with bits of wire on it that makes you want to be able to play it? Because it's knowing exactly why you're doing it which is really going to get you through those harder times. So I actually really encourage everyone watching this video, if this is something you've sort of questioned at all in the past, write down, get a pencil and paper and write down exactly why it is, just to make you really think and get as clear answers as possible as to why you play guitar. And this is exactly what I did. It took me about three minutes, frankly, because I'm very aware of the reasons why I play guitar. It's very clear to me and I've sort of, uh, it just becomes more clear to me the more I do these videos to you guys and really try and help you out. But um, I filled a a4 sheet of paper here, scribbled it on just to sort of read out in the lesson um, entitled Why I Play Guitar. Really quickly, it is the most fun I know how to have and it's the most fun that I've seen other people have that's, you know, not just drinking or anything like that or just having fun with friends. Um, it changes my state when I give it my full attention. When I listen to songs, it actually picks up my body and spirit. Watching great bands play live is exciting. I watch them and imagine myself in their place and I do all that I can to emulate them. They were just the first few reasons. Thinking back, I wrote a little bit at the bottom, from being 12, um, or around 12 or even probably earlier in that, all I could imagine was really kind of trying to make a living from making music, writing it, the playing live, the singing, recording, touring the world, all that sort of thing. So if you just think about those answers for a second, try, try and think outside your specific situation and put yourself inside any person like a shell whose core beliefs are that when they play guitar, it is the most fun that they know how to have. If it's something they struggle with on certain bits, do you think they're gonna, that person's going to persevere? Probably, because at some point, it's the most fun they know how to have when it's all working well. Like for some people, you know, scoring a goal at football or soccer or scoring a basket at basketball is the most fun they know how to have. There might be work involved with that, but actually the thrill of doing it pays them back tenfold for the work they have to put into it, or a hundredfold even. Um, 
thinking about the song choices and what songs you want to be able to play on guitar, think about this answer here. It changes my state when it gives it my full attention. That's a Tony Robbins term, by the way. I hold my hands up to that. It changes my state. It lifts my body and spirit. It makes me enjoy myself from this stimulus, from the audio, from the sound, and from me creating it myself. You know, if you find something a little bit difficult or you're even trying to master something totally new, say you've only done chords all, all the time and you're suddenly trying to play either finger picking or trying to play melodies or you're trying to play longer, more complex songs, there's going to be these stumbling blocks and there's going to be these things that really make you, wow, assess, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing here. This is really difficult and it's really different to what I've done. Remember that the song you're learning, when you play it, will change your state and make you feel excited and happy. The song has the power to do that. The song itself has the power to do that. And personally, this is something that's always really helped me to know my map forward. That third answer, watching great bands play live are just my personal favourites, in all honesty, but even just great ones that I've never heard before. Um, it's exciting and I watch them and I imagine myself in their place. I see the world through their eyes and I do all that I can to emulate them. So when you're doing all that you can to emulate something, you've got you to be kind of careful who you're going to be, you know, emulating. You've got to think, is that person, can I do those sorts of things? From a singing point of view, will my voice eventually, if I work on it, do what they do? Um, but thinking about it from that point of view is a great way to sort of think of what direction you want to take your own guitar playing in to get the most out of it. You've got to look at other people and go, hey, I think I could do that. And I, I would definitely want to be able to do that. And persevering along those lines is a great way to plan forward and plan ahead. But I think the main thing to bear in mind when there are the trickier weeks, months, or even, you know, for some people, years between you know, them losing motivation on the instrument, which is such a shame, but it does happen. Um, the thing that you want to bear in mind most of all, and I just put this finally for myself here, it's a real core belief that playing guitar, practicing guitar, and critical listening, so that's listening to a song and really analysing what it is you're hearing, and emulating my heroes, as I pointed out before, all these things will pay me back tenfold and I've just put in brackets sort of socially being able to play in front of people and friends um, having fun myself even if I'm just here in this room you can probably tell I kind of have fun here talking to a camera because I'm talking about something that I'm passionate about um, and sort of just this is it living life to the full is, is the last thing I see all those things that's what this block of wood means to me and Bearing those things in mind makes you persevere when there's a little number on the tab that you can't quite work out what it is, or there's a song that's just a little bit too long a sequence to, to follow at this time. Um, so hopefully that just gives you some sort of insight of how some people can get far along, so far along this journey of learning guitar and some people fall at the first hurdle and can't see how it's done. It depends totally on your mindset and what does guitar mean to you and why do you want to be able to play it. I wouldn't take any of my answers as God-given. Please create your own answers. Some people, you know, want to be able to play it so that they can pass their grade six and get some UCAS points to go to university or college. Some people it's to be able to play a song to their wife or their kids just, you know, for their birthday or something. However big or small a goal, don't underestimate it because it can become your world. Um, make your answers personal to you, but please get a piece of paper and write down your answers. Just get three or so, around three, good, strong, bullet point answers and make them your mantra for why you play guitar and when you work out why you're doing it trust me you will play it more. Thanks for checking out this lesson there's a free beginners course at andyguitar.co.uk and please send me your emails and questions below in the comments and on the Facebook page on the Twitter 
and I will answer um, the best ones I find and as many as I possibly can in these videos.